It used to be scientists thought nothing could escape the gravitational pull of a black hole. Not so, according to new findings from astrophysicists. To explain why it is that black holes can't gobble up just everything, Wall Street Journal science reporter Gautam Knight joins us from London. Um, Gautam, thanks for being there. My pleasure. Um, I understand that part of this study revolves around looking at X-rays. Can you explain, please? Sure, there's some very intri intriguing observations about black holes. Uh, these are cosmic bodies that form when very large stars, those that are much bigger than our own sun, collapse and all their matter gets scrunched into a very small volume. And as a result, the gravity is so strong that even light cannot escape. That's a black hole. And uh, theorists uh, in physics, physics have been uh, trying to pin down exactly how these black holes work, but they haven't had too many uh, observational data to actually uh, confirm their theories. And now the latest research actually uses uh, data from a telescope that NASA operates uh, that has actually looked and peer deep into the heart of our own Milky Way to come up with some interesting findings about why black holes aren't as ferocious as they're always purported to be. Purported to be that basically when, when you go down a, a, a black hole, you, you're gone, it, it, it's over. But according to the study, it's basically a lot of the gas in, 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 the, in the universe is stuff that's been repelled by black holes. That tells us that they're quite different from what we thought, right? That's right. Um, what they looked at was a whole lot of gas that's streaming towards the Milky Way's black hole. This star emanates. Uh, th this gas emanates from the stars that go around the black hole, and they expected that either this gas would get sucked right into the maw of the bla black hole, or uh, it would somehow get rejected. And it turns out that 99% of the gas is rejected. This solves a very, very intriguing mystery in uh, astrophysics. When uh, scientists have looked at the black hole in the center of, our galaxy, uh, center of our galaxy, they found that it just wasn't shining. The gas around it wasn't shining brightly enough. The gas should shine because it gets heated up tremendously under the influence of gravity. But it wasn't shining, so there's a big puzzle. And now they realize why. It turns out that that gas, instead of actually heading into the heart of the black hole, is actually being rejected. G Gautham, um one always thought of, of black holes as gobbling up everything. To, to follow the analogy, have they gobbled up so much they've got indigestion and just can't take any more in? Is it like, you know, me as a five-year-old just having eaten too much and no more can go in? <laughs> Well, that, that's an interesting thought, but uh, I, actually the uh, uh, reason appears to be a little more mundane than that. It turns out that when gas or any material stream towards the black hole, you know, caught in its gravitational tug, two forces have to compete. One is the gravity of the black hole that's sucking this material in or influencing it inwards. But the other is as this material gets closer and closer to the black hole, it heats up. And as the matter heats up, its particles jiggle much more strongly and much faster. That force, the force of that jiggling of the particles, has to uh, compete against the gravitational pull it's experiencing. Well, it turns out that these particles are moving in different directions. They're not always moving towards the black hole. And as they get hotter and hotter, they move faster and faster, and that motion is more than enough to counteract the gravity. And that's why instead of succumbing to the gravity of the black hole, they actually managed to escape it. Interesting stuff. Great, great to have you on the show. Gautam Nike, science reporter at the Wall Street Journal. We appreciate your time, sir. Thank you.